So the first thing we're gonna do is fry up the chicken drumsticks. So first step is to put a big pot on high heat and throw some oil into it. And once that can freely swirl around without having too much viscosity, uh, or a lot of viscosity, I can't remember which one is which. Anyway, uh, I've got these drumsticks uh, that I have marinated in, um, in oil with some pepper and uh, cinnamon. So I'm going to throw them in the bottom of the pot. I'll keep these going for about three minutes, rotating them um, halfway. And of course, we're gonna be making some rice. Uh, so over on the side, you'll see I have a pot and that's the rice is gonna be soaking during this first process because that'll take about 20 or 30 minutes. So that chicken is looking good and crispy. So I've got some chicken breast that's marinated in the same style. So I'm gonna to toss that in, mix it in, make sure it's touching the bottom. And at this point, I'm gonna throw in a chopped up onion. And get that down to the bottom as well, so it gets crispy, crunchy. This is a great time to crack open a nice beer. Next up, I got some cubed up uh, tomato I'm gonna throw in. Now the namesake of this dish, these are long beans uh, that I've cut up into about one to two inch pieces. Uh, in Dutch, it would be kosaban, which is it's, Dutch is what they mainly speak in Suriname. Let's mix these in real nice. And long beans are similar to, uh, you know, they're related to green beans or string beans, uh, but they're longer. Go figure. Next up, I've got some bouillon powder. You could use the cubes, I guess. Um, but then you have to break them up, so what's the point? This is pre-broken. I imagine there's a factory somewhere where uh, there's just like people breaking up bouillon cubes and stuffing them into jars like this. Seasoning. Make it taste like soup. And everybody likes soup, huh? I'm gonna add some soy sauce, about a half a cup. If you have uh, dark soy sauce, go ahead and use maybe four tablespoons of that. Um, I'm gonna need a little bit more. Just get more liquid out of that. Uh, dark soy sauce is uh, not quite as salty and it's got more of an umami kind of flavor, rich flavor to it. Um, and that's preferred, but I ran out today, so I didn't get a chance to go to the store. That is very unprepared of me. Sorry that I don't put you first, YouTube. And right here I've got a, uh, about, you know, a couple teaspoons of grated nutmeg. Fresh stuff, of course, always. It's so much different, richer. All right, now we wanna take some hot water so as not to cool down what's cooking and fill the pot just until the edge of what we've got. It's not supposed to really be a stew. It's just supposed to meld everything together. So we're going to cover that with it, open a crack because we want to reduce it. And we're going to lower the heat and keep it going at a simmer for about 25 minutes. And uh, now is the time, if it's been a half an hour that your rice has been soaking, that you want to go ahead and put your rice on the burner um, and cook it. So I have no idea what to expect here, as usual. Um, so let's just dig in and see what we're dealing with. Ooh, the chicken is just falling apart. It's not what I would have expected from any sort of South American slash 
Caribbean uh, sea side uh, cuisine. It's got a lot of a lot of earthy flavors that come from that cinnamon and the uh, the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Those are the main uh, flavors that I'm tasting right now, uh, which is great. It's sort of got a, a North African kind of vibe to it. Um, now, Suriname is a very, very diverse place, a lot of different cultures. Um, so I'm not sure where they got those spices from, but it's, it's not the Dutch influence and it's probably not the Native American influence. So it's probably one of the cultures that kind of came together, or a few of the cultures that came together. You saw there was soy sauce in there as well. Um, now I know that uh, Guyana has a lot of Indian influence, so it's possible that uh, some of those sort of uh, flavors are part of the cuisine as well. So, hmm. yeah, it's a really good, healthy dish, I'd say, um, and it's not too heavy. It could have gone to that extreme with those intense spices uh, that are in there um, but no it's I mean it's not light but it's uh, yeah good hearty meal